Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I was hesitating for a minute because we're in a new spot. This is the final room um, in the house. I think I've given you the full house tour aside from our bathrooms. My younger brother has been living with us for three and a half years and he moved out last week. And it was really sad because I love my brother. He's my best friend. And so I am now setting up my workspace in his old room. Um, my gaming PC is all set up here. But this is not where I plan to film in the future. I'm actually getting a new desk that'll go on the other side of the room. And that will be where I do um, the majority of my filming moving forward. Today is week one of March Face Up Madness. And we are featuring aliens, um, which is exciting. I got to work on blue heads. Uh, first time I've ever done that. So I am um, put a call out to folks via Instagram, just saying, hey, do you want a free face up? And I had some responses and I only could take so many. So I have seven heads to do in four weeks time. And the whole point of this challenge is to just really, really hone my skills, do a lot of different things. You know, I have heads that I can work on, but it's so much more fun when you have people come to you with creative ideas and believe me, every single one of these face ups is so insanely different and very creative and very challenging. And I love that. I think that that's exactly what I need to continue to build my confidence and my reputation. I really would like my reputation in the community to be that of a creator, not just in terms of the social media aspect, but I wanna be really well-rounded when it comes to my photography, my face-ups and sewing. I'm, I'm not quite to the point where I wanna start charging for my work because I feel like I still have a ways to go skill-wise and I don't mind gifting. I'm not in this hobby to make money. That is not what this is about. I don't consider Magical Girl Kit Kat to be a business. It is my hobby, it is my therapy, it is a chance for me to be an artist. And growing up for the longest time, I wanted to be an artist professionally. And after learning about some things from friends who are artists professionally, which I respect, I love, I realized I really just wanted this to be a way for me to escape from the reality of my normal day to day. So that's why I'm really grateful for this. And um, even when I do charge, I don't know what my rates are going to be. And I want to feel like if you come to me for a face up that you are really happy and pleased with the quality of work you are receiving and feel like I am someone you can trust with your request. That being said, I had two wonderful individuals for this week. The first is Red Panda Co, which is a YouTube channel. Her name is Tasha. Tasha is a total sweetheart. She is new into Smart Doll and she actually started her first face up, filmed her first face up last week and she is very talented. When you do your first face up, it's really hard. She rocked it. So I absolutely can see that she is going to be someone that is going to thrive and be a very skilled face up artist moving forward. So I was very honored that she asked me to do one for her, which was a blue cow head. So thank you Tasha for that. If you would like to see her face up video, which I highly recommend, I will link that information below. My Lady Disdain posted a video today, which by the time this post is gonna be yesterday, um, showcasing a face up, an outfit that I sewed for her, um, the character Maureen Marin um, from my dress up darling. That was a birthday gift to Sandy. So you can go ahead and check that out for a bonus face up. Under, under the light 
And then the second face up that I did was for a my first male um, face up in semi real blue G2 sculpt that was inspired by a friend, my friend Mariah. Um, I will link her Instagram so you can follow her and her dolls in photography. Um, these were both very polar opposites in terms of design. And then um, the inspiration for the second face up that Mariah wanted is like a cross between a uh, tribal look and like avatar almost um it was a an original character that she had created a backstory for
it was a lot of fun. The only thing that I would say was not fun was my GoPro decided to just be weird. We bought a new GoPro recently and I haven't had any issues with it, but man, uh, it decided that we were not friends uh, and would just like randomly turn off. There was a full battery. I did them both back to back at the same time. It took me a total of four hours to do two face ups. Um, I don't know if I'm going too quickly. I'm pleased with the work. I think they look good. I think that I didn't have a problem with them or any issues that I ran into working on them. I just, I've always been told from the time I was little that I'm a very fast artist. It has nothing to do with my level of patience. Um, it's just, I don't know. It's just this thing that I do. I'm very quick. I'm just a fast lady. So maybe I should be the female version of the flash is what I'm saying. I do want to say thank you for your patience. I know that I've been kind of all over the place and a little bit more quiet than normally with social media. Um, we had a big week this last week. It was Ben's 40th birthday. And then something that we haven't announced, but I'm going to announce now is that Ben and I bought a business. So we're business owners now. Um, my husband has worked in the sign and graphics industry for 14 years has learned just about every single part of that industry from vehicle wraps to vinyl banners, display, trade show, pieces, acrylic, any type of sign that you can think of. He knows how to do it, how to make it a reality for people. So it's been his dream to be a business owner and we made that happen a month ago. And it's very exciting and stressful. I don't have a work office ever since COVID hit. I have been completely remote. This could change in the future. So I'm actually working out of the shop. I work for a community college. It's what it, my day job is and I really enjoy it. Um, but it's been really fun to be at the shop and to be around people and uh, see the relationship that he's built with the team and just see all the potential there is for creating and showcasing Smart Doll there. It's a beautiful space. It's very cool and I'm very proud of him. So if you get a chance to follow him, bjammin.raw, um, give him some love, tell him congrats. It's a really big deal. I know we're co-owners and that really hasn't sunk in yet, but it's just like, it's just really cool and I'm really proud. So for any of you that are business owners out there, you know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot to be done. So. I'm going to be very busy in the coming months, but that doesn't take away from the fact that I have commitments and Smartel is my therapy. It is my relaxation and my way to, it's my joy in many, many ways. Do I love my job? Yes. Do I love the shop? Yes. This is something that I, that really lets my creativity shine and um, has allowed me to build some really wonderful, strong relationships. Anyway, I love you all so very much. And I look forward to seeing you next week for week two. We are going to be continuing the sci-fi theme. Um, I'm very excited. Next week will be the most challenging face up I think I will have ever done. So very excited to share that with you. Um, stay safe. Be kind to others. And remember, I love you. And I will see you next week. Peace out, my bean sprouts. Bye.